the, the commonly understood reason for why you don't want to change the block size is we don't want to centralize the network. We want to keep nodes that you can run. But, but it's not actually, in my opinion, it's not the best argument, right? I mean, the truth is you could probably make an argument that an eight megabyte block space will also be decentralized or not. Now we're in this little debate over the cost of, um, of storage versus the rate at which the Bitcoin blockchain increments. Uh, and um, the better debate is don't change it because it's unethical to change it. <laughs> don't change it because it's evil. It's unethical. That's why you don't do it. Why? Because every time you change the block space, you defraud or, or you deprive the Bitcoin miners of revenue. So if you actually keep doubling the blocks uh, size, you keep driving transaction fees down. And so you're meddling in the economics of someone that in good faith invested in Bitcoin. If I invested all of my life savings in Bitcoin mining on the assumption that the blocks would remain constant and the Bitcoin would remain constant, and then some developer came up with a really good reason why we ought to you know, increase the Bitcoin, give some of it to the developers, and then triple the block size so the transaction fees at Binance won't be as expensive. I would be furious, right? But more than furious, right? Yeah. You have stolen their property in the same way that the Nazis stole the Jews' property. <laughs> You've stolen it in the same way that every authoritarian has stolen property for the past 10,000 years. Right, the, the history of humanity is full of powerful people that change the rules so that they can steal your land, so they can claim it via eminent domain, so they can tax it away. They, you know, they pass a law making it illegal for you to bake bread. It's illegal for you to ship. It's illegal to cross the river from New Jersey to New York. It's these are all just different unfair rules. So, so. Um, Changing the transaction bandwidth fundamentally is, is an unprincipled decision because you deprive people in the ecosystem of their property rights. And, and it's the, to the benefit of someone, to the detriment of someone else. And you basically, uh, you basically uh, retroactively you know, change the rules.